All right, so now we know how to add new documents to a collection and we can see all of those documents in the collection using Compass. Now, a lot of the times you'll want to fetch documents from a certain collection so you can do something with them. For example, if I'm making an API, I might need to expose an endpoint that returns a list of books to whoever's calling the API, whoever's sending a request to that endpoint, right? And the logic inside the handler function for that endpoint would need to communicate with MongoDB to fetch all of the book documents from the books collection. So how would we do that? Well, it's pretty simple to do. We just use a method that MongoDB gives us, which is the find method. So say for example, I wanna fetch all the books inside the books collection. Well, I can say DB to reference the database, then dot books to reference the books collection, and then dot find like so. And this method, if I press enter, is gonna communicate with the database and MongoDB shell is gonna output the first 20 books it finds inside this collection. So if I press enter, we can see all those books right here okay now at the minute we only have seven books inside our books collection however in the future we might have 200 books inside that collection now inside the shell when we use the find method like this mongo shell is going to basically print out the first 20 books that it gets okay and then if i type down here it to iterate over some more it will iterate over the next 20 then i can type it again to iterate over the next 20 and print those out and so forth now this behavior is a little bit different to how this find method would work in our application code so we're going to learn more about that later but for the time being because we're not really going to have more than 20 documents it doesn't really matter when we're using the find method inside the shell okay so let me just clear this for now. So when we use the find method, it just grabs all the documents it can find, the first 20, based on no extra criteria. We don't say find all the book documents where the author is Terry Pratchett or something else, or we don't say find all the books where the rating is seven. We just say find the books and get me whatever books you can find inside the books collection. But we can use filters to filter out the results that we get back. And we briefly saw those inside Compass before. Remember, when we use this filter field right here. So we can add a filter to the find method, which looks something like this as well. It's an object, then the field name that we wanna filter by, for example, the author, and then the value that we want that field to be. So if we go back over here, I'm gonna say db.books, dot find again but this time i'm going to add as an argument a filter which is an object and let's say i want to find all the books where the author is terry pratchett so let me type that in terry pratchett like so and now when i press enter it's going to find all the books that match this filter where the author is terry pratchett so we're limiting the books that we get back now which is pretty nice okay so we can also limit or filter by other criteria as well. So say for example, I want to get back all the books where the author is Terry Pratchett and where the rating is seven. Well then it should just return this book right here because this rating is six. And I can do that by saying the same again, db.books.find. Then we pass in the object, which is the filter and the object can have many different key value pairs. So if I want the author to be Terry Pratchett, but also I want the rating to be seven, I can add that into the filter object as well. And now it's gonna look at both of these two filters and it's gonna only bring back books which match both. So if I press enter now, then we should get back just that one book where the author is Terry Pratchett and the rating is seven, awesome. All right, so we can also pass a second argument into this find method as well. So let me just clear this first of all so we have a bit more room to play with. So if I just say up here for now, db.books and then .find and pass in a filter whereby the author property is gonna be Brandon Sanderson. That's gonna get back all the documents where the author is Brandon Sanderson, right? So we have these two books right here. Now, when I fetch documents in the future, it might be that I don't need all of the different fields inside those documents. For example, on a specific web page I might have, I could just wanna output the title and author of each book, and these would be unneeded. So when we're making this request using the find method, we can actually specify a second argument, which is an object, and that object would specify what fields we wanna get back from each document. So let me do an example. 
I'm still going to use the same filter, but as a second argument, an object, and then if I want just specific fields back, I can put them as properties inside this object. So for example, I could say title, and if I want that field back, I would just say that's equal to one. And that just means I want the title property in the documents that I get back. I could also want the author and set that to one as well. So if I press enter now, it's gonna still return me both of these documents, but it's only going to give me whatever fields I specify right here in the second argument. So if I press enter, now we can see we get the title and author in each one, but not the others. We always get the ID back. We don't have to specify that up here. We always get it back, but we only have the title and author and we don't have the pages, genre and rating, all right? Now, if we wanna use this second argument, but don't want to add a filter, for example, I might want all the books back, but I still want to limit what fields we actually get back for those books, then I can do that. Let me just clear this to give us some more room. And I can say db.books, then .find. Now, as a first argument this time, we just do an empty object, and that is basically an empty filter. So we're still gonna get back all of the books but it allows us now to pass through that second argument where we can specify which fields we want back. So I could now say that I want the title, and that's gonna be one to say we do want that back, and also the author, which is one as well. So if I press enter now, we're gonna get all the books, but we only get those two fields back for each of the books. Awesome. Now, as well as the find method, we can also use a method called find one. So if I use the find method, we get back all of the books, right? Now, if I just want to find one book based on maybe the ID of that book, I can use the find one method. So let me say db.books.find one like so. Now in here, we also can pass a filter to say which book we want to find. And I could say, well, I want the underscore ID property, which is this right here to match this, for example. So I'm going to copy all of this, including where it says object ID, right? We want all of that. So let's just grab it, copy it, and I'm going to paste it in here. So now it should only find this single book right here. So if I press enter now, then we can see that single book. All right. And we can also use other properties right here. It doesn't have to be ID. I could use the title if I wanted to. If I use something like the author where there's more than one book with that author, then it's just going to fetch back the first one it finds in the database where that filter matches. So that is how to find and retrieve documents using the MongoDB shell and these two methods, the find methods to bring back multiple documents and also find one to just get one single document and also how to use filters to filter the documents that we get back and the second argument to say which fields we wanna get back as well. Now, like I said before, when we use the find method in our application code, it is gonna be slightly different how we work with the data that we get back from MongoDB, but we're gonna to touch on that later on in the course. For now, all we need to know is that the find method gets us all the documents and the find one method gets us just a single document.